Welcome to Book Talks with Diane. Today's book is The Woman They Could Not Silence by Kate Moore. This book received 4.3 stars from Goodreads. One woman, her incredible fight for freedom, and the men who tried to make her disappear. A masterpiece. Natalia Holt, New York Times bestselling author of The Rise of the Rocket Girls. What an incredible narrative about a singular historical woman. Through these pages, more enthralls as she ensures that such women will be silenced no more. Marie Benedict, New York Times bestselling author. Stunning. In Moore's expert hands, this beautifully written tale unspools with drama and power. You will be riveted. Lisa Monday, New York Times bestselling author of Code Girls. This book was Goodreads Choice Award nominee for Best History and Biography in 2021. 1860. As the clash between the states rolls slowly to a boil, Elizabeth Packard, housewife and mother of six, is facing her own battle. The enemy sits across the table and sleeps in the next room. Her husband of 21 years is plotting against her because he feels increasingly threatened by Elizabeth's intellect, independence, and unwillingness to stifle her own thoughts. So Theophilus makes a plan to put his wife back in her place. One summer morning, he has her committed to an insane asylum. The horrific conditions inside the Illinois State Hospital in Jacksonville, Illinois, are overseen by Dr. Andrew McFarland, a man who will prove to be even more dangerous to Elizabeth than her traitorous husband. But most disturbing is that Elizabeth is not the only sane woman confined to the institution. There are many rational women on her ward who tell the same story. They've been committed not because they needed medical treatment, but to keep them in line, conveniently labeled crazy, so their voices are ignored. No one is willing to fight for their freedom and disenfranchise both by gender and stamina of their supposed madness. They cannot possibly fight for themselves. But Elizabeth is about to discover that the merit of losing everything is that you then have nothing to lose. I gave this book four and a half stars. You all know I love historical fiction. This book didn't let me down. I will admit I had never heard of Elizabeth Packard until this book, but I admire her tenacity to get the justice and freedom she felt women deserved. She fought so hard for her and all the married women in the ward who had been committed. She fought for their freedom. I don't know that I would have been as courageous as she was. I probably would have just accepted my fate and tried to get along as best as I could. This is a very eye-opening book, and I am very glad I read it. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.